Hello everyone. A friend of mine recently asked me if uh, I could attempt to salvage these and he gave me two uh, old uh, Dirt Devil hand vacs and he wants to be able to use them for his carpeted stairs in his home and getting pet hair off of furniture. And uh, he got them both cheap at thrift stores and he said that uh, they both have their own problems and he was hoping that I could make these two machines into one good one. Uh, one of the main issues here, this one, the cord, this is notorious on these uh, because people would wind them too tightly and that strain relief isn't substantial enough. So that's pulled back there. And from and one of the bags I think has a tear in it and I think that unfortunately uh, this one has some noise to it and, or no, no, excuse me. I think the problem here is that this one runs better but the cord is uh, is in bad shape. This one's got a good cord. Uh, but has issues. So I'm going to plug these in and see what we're looking at and see if I can at least get one or both of these uh, working again. It shouldn't be too bad. All right, I've got the one on the right plugged in. Let's have a listen. All right, that sounds terrible. Uh, that's either the motor bearings or a uh, fan. Something's all seized up, so that sounds, that sounds awful. All right, let's see how the other one sounds. Well, I hope this one sounds better because I don't want to have to replace the cord on to move the cord to the other one because it's not work, gonna be worth it. Let's hear it. All right. Now that sounds like it should. So what that means is that I don't have to swap the cord over. I'm grateful for that. Uh, honestly, I've never done it before, but you'd have to crack the entire thing in half and take it all apart to replace it. And I can just tune this one up and turn this one into one good one, and I think I'll be happy. So let's continue. So my friend claimed that one of the bags was torn and you know, you could get a paper bag option for these, but most people did not. And uh, or a lot of users didn't. And you just use this as a shakeout bag and uh, it's got a lot of uh, gross stuff in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out. So what I'm gonna do, I will wash this. And like I said, he claimed he thought that one of them had a tear in it. So I will examine these closely and make sure that that's not the case. I think maybe just the poof of dust that comes off of them. He thought that was a, a hole in the bag and it's not. Uh, so uh, now I've got no clue why that has duct tape on it, but it did. Now I'm going to give this a tune up, replace the belt and clean it all up. So first I removed the, uh, the little belt cover there and then I uh, removed the bottom plate. There's two Phillips screws and then the metal bottom plate just pops off. Uh, and taking a look at the info sticker, this is a Dirt Devil Model 103, and it's made in Cleveland, Ohio, which is pretty cool. Uh, then I removed the belt from the motor pulley and pulled the brush roll out. The brush roll itself was built up with a lot of uh, thread and hair, so I just pulled all that off. And the bearings uh, for this brush roll, they were always kind of mushy, so it, they never spun extremely free, but it feels fine. So I didn't bother taking that apart. Uh, then I just swept out the extra crud that was built up inside the nozzle housing. Uh, and there was quite a bit. And then using a flathead screwdriver, I just scraped out the extra crud that was built up uh, where the screws uh, go in for the bottom plate. Then I cleaned off the bottom plate itself. I ended up using the bottom plate actually from the other Dirt Devil because it was in better shape. Uh, then I swept the vacuum cleaner off and even just doing that with my bench vacuum and a soft dusting brush, that made a huge difference in how it looked. It already looked a lot better. But I'm going to go a step further and I used um, all-purpose cleaner to disinfect the outside of the vacuum and uh, that made a huge difference. I uh, then uh, cleaned off the cord using all-purpose cleaner and just ran the cloth along it and you can see all that nastiness that was built up on it, so that made a big difference. Then I used alcohol to get the paint scuffs off and the things the all-purpose cleaner couldn't. So like the price tag on the top uh, with alcohol came right off. But you want to be careful not to overdo it with alcohol because you don't want to permanently dull the plastic. Uh, I then cleaned out the nozzle housing, and I didn't make—I didn't get it perfect. I didn't take this thing apart and wash it, but the—I made sure the air path was completely cleared out, so that it was going to work exactly like it should. And thankfully, the little plastic fan in there was in good shape, so I didn't have to do anything with that because uh, those are long discontinued. Uh, then just cleaned out the—I uh, guess the dirt exit where it uh, dumps the dirt into the bag. Uh, and then I wiped off the brush roll, and uh, that was, uh, again, just built up with grime and dust from over the years, and it got it looking a lot better.
Now you can see the new belt compared to the old one, and the old one was really stretched out, so uh, this will make a huge difference in how well it cleans. And then the bottom plate and the belt uh, brush roll itself have little arrows on them, and you want to make sure they're lined up and facing the right way so that the brush roll's not in backwards. Uh, then I just put the bottom plate back on, there's two Phillips screws. And then uh, using a flathead screwdriver like a lever, I pulled the uh, belt up onto the motor pulley. And it took me a couple tries to get it, but um, it wasn't too bad. And the belt can only go on the motor pulley one way. It twists around a certain way. And uh, if you put it on backwards, it'll pop right off. So uh, once I got it on there, I uh, gave it a quick test and made sure it was facing the right direction. And thankfully it was. And uh, then I could uh, uh, finish the tune-up. The last thing I did was I polished the smooth parts of the plastic on the outside of the machine using Mother's Mag and aluminum polish. It's a great plastic polish and actually shines the plastic, so it's just what I've used for years. It works great. And then uh, using a little bit of elbow grease, just uh, wiped down the whole machine with it, and then using a clean part of the towel, wiped off the excess. And it came out great. It looked significantly better when it was finished. Uh, before I wash the bags, I'm first going to thoroughly vacuum them out, and I'm going to use what I always use on uh, shakeout bags. As long as they're not too fragile, I'll use my Dyson Tangle-Free Turbine Tool, and it's great for cleaning shakeout bags. Uh, after I vacuum them out, I'm then going to wash them. And like I said, at the end of this, I'm only going to have one good dirt devil to give back to him, because the other one has motor issues, but um, he'll at least have a spare shakeout bag if he needs it. The Dirt Devil handbag is finished. Cleaning out the brush roll and dirt path, replacing the brush roll belt, and washing the cloth shakeout bag made a huge difference. Because uh, they were in better shape, I swapped out the metal bottom plate and bottom plate screws from the other Dirt Devil. Now it's going to work exactly like it should. So let's see how it cleans. I've now put a bunch of fake pet hair on my uh, love seat. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Uh, to demonstrate this uh, Dirt Devil handbag, I put down a few different things here. I've got some fake pet hair, glitter, and shredded paper. And let's see how it does on this red rug.
So there you have it. This is the Dirt Devil Model 103 hand vac, and these were extremely popular machines in their day. I think a lot of people would still instantly recognize them. These were sold at a time where onboard tools were just becoming a common feature on vacuums, and a lot of people still liked having a secondary vacuum like this for cleaning stairs, furniture, the car, and smaller spaces. Thanks to the direct air fan first design and the revolving brush roll, these clean just like a full size vacuum and deliver excellent airflow and cleaning performance. Despite this machine being around 30 years old, it still works great and there's a lot of them, I'm sure, still sitting around in people's homes. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.